first and the second for you in terms of what you can do differently and then sustain that type of play? Well, I liked our conscious in the first period too, but we made a couple misreads uh, in the offensive zone and on I think two of the odd men rushes. They had four odd men rushes early in the game. A um, couple misreads, um, missing guys leaving the zone, and then a couple of them actually were just good, solid, hard work and won puck battles by them, and, and um, which created the odd man rushes. So I thought Chicago played hard and played well, and they had to get some heavy forwards that can skate, and they created a couple on their own. Um, but for the most part, I liked the conscious and, and the purpose to our defending tonight. It was much improved from the last couple of games against a pretty good team that's playing pretty well. So, um, but probably a little bit more physical in the second and third, especially the third, which was uh, the period that I liked the best probably from our group tonight. Um, but pretty good all around effort from our guys. Do you like your foul held in after deep with the third? Did you get a shutout or am I overrating these points in the second? No, I, I like it. I like it a lot. I mean, I, I think that, like, again, we, we defended hard, um, did some good things that way. I thought we were tracking the puck pretty well, getting above it, harder to play against, more um, sorting things out quicker in the D zone, a little bit more aggressiveness and assertiveness to our game there. Definitely had some breakdowns. We got a lot of sticks on, on pucks to deflect them wide. We blocked some shots tonight, even going out to the points. We had... Uh, a number of those um, when we needed a save we got it and Pav looked good he looked sharp he looked quick again looked really composed in the net and um, so that's why it ends up at zero they're both playing great how do, how do you see you using them in these games but... yeah we'll see I don't know we just take it week by week and uh, try to lay out a plan so we're playing a rested goalie you know it's that time of year same with the goalies as it is for our team trying to balance that rest work ratio what were you like in the first game? I just thought we, like, there was a ramped up sense of urgency from our group, you know? And I don't think we were overly dangerous either, but um, playing a one nothing game and then a 2 nothing game, I, I just thought that there was, you know, guys were committed to what we were doing defensively and working hard at it. Brandon's got so many stats in his notes for <laughs> 16 games, all on these lines. And the point streak at home, and, and it just goes on and on. But I guess you're the first team, was it the fifth team in NHL history to win 16 straight at home? Just what are all thoughts about that? I just think, uh, you know, it's just a – I mean, it's just a feather in the cap of our guys. I just think they're they're finding ways to win hockey games. And for the most part, you know, like we, we've said – set a pretty high standard in our room on the way we want to um, go about our daily business and, and how we want our guys to play. Um, they all haven't been perfect, but a lot of those games have been really good and, and uh, on both sides of the puck. We had took a little bit of a dip, still found some ways to win, different guys stepping up on different nights, and it's just like the togetherness of our group. I think they... You know they they keep pushing that standard even though they, and they recognize it when it's when it's not great and we win and and they're happy to get the points but we're still sort of looking at the big picture here and and uh, when you got a good thing going you you don't want to let it go and I think that's what we saw tonight guys understand that um, we have this streak going at home we want to keep it going we've we've had a really good run I think the last game we lost was the. Uh, um, in regulation was the one we played shorthanded in Nashville. It was a little bit of a debacle. So, you know, we're just trying to keep it going, trying to get better every day. And guys have been receptive to, to you know, the coaching, the video. Um, they like getting the days off and the rest and just trying to drag the best out of them every night. And, and, and they're trying to drag the best out of one another, you know. So uh, I like the togetherness in, on the team. Yeah, I don't know. I would say probably not based on what what he's done for us over, you know, the last few seasons, especially. Um, he's really come into his own. I don't know. 
I mean, there, uh, that, that line's talked about a lot as being one of the best, if not the best line in the league, so they get credit there. Um, but he's, I mean, he, again, he just he finds a way to score goals, to chip in. He, he, you know, even if it's not, if he's not feeling great or it's not his night or he's fighting it a little bit, he finds a way to make a play or two in every game to, to get on the score sheet and is really consistent at it, you know. So um, that's hard to do. It's hard to do when, to, to produce when, even when you're not at your best, is, is hard to do. It takes a special talent to be able to do that. And Nico just has that, you know, whole package, the entire package, the size, the, the vision, the, the ability to score, make plays, play with play in traffic, play with guys on his back. Um, I, I mean, I'm sure he does get a lot of credit throughout the league, but he probably could use it, deserve a little bit more. more. It's kind of bounce back that you were looking for is when you guys build on a lot of the habits, it builds back up the habits to make that the next game. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's the type of um, commitment I wanted from our team on the defending side of it, and it's a good team. Chicago. I mean, they just lost uh, back to back games to many, but I think they were four one and three. So points in seven of eight prior to that, if I'm if I'm not mistaken. Um, teams coming a long way. They're in a push for the playoffs. Yeah, games in hand. Um, I think they were seven points back of a wild card going into tonight, so it's it's go time for them. So they're playing with some urgency. They played hard. Um, their goalie played well. I mean, it was it was a good hockey game, and we found a way to um, get a couple goals and, and grab the two points. So I, I liked the game tonight. I mean, it wasn't as you know high energy offense that we've seen from our group at times, but neither were the last three, and and, and we didn't like our game defensively tonight. I liked our game defensively. We'll see you next game. I don't know. I string them together. You know, it's a it's a good performance from our guys. I liked it, and hopefully, we can build on it for next game. Last one for you. You had that stretch earlier in the year where it was. It felt like every game you were losing someone to injury, and now there's still a few guys out, but it's been a little more run of consistency. How much do you yeah. think that played a role in this? It helps. It helps. I mean, it, I mean, it, it. Every guy you take out of the lineup, it, it hurts the rhythm of your team. You know, you get you get performances from guys that get elevated in the lineup, but it's just not the same if you have them slotted where 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 they deserve to be or where their play puts them on that particular night. And I think when we have our full lineup in, it's it's. It's tough to play against throughout our lineup. We get contributions from all of our lines and, and our decor, and um, you start moving one or two guys out. And there's been times this year when we had six, seven, eight guys out, right? And every team's kind of going through that. But to get some consistency now, I, I believe is helpful. Thank you, Jared. Yeah, thanks.